Hello, this is Mike, and this is video 49 on building a session class. And session classes can be extremely useful. They basically keep track of your users logged in or not. And if they're logged in, then they have access to certain pages in your application. And if not, they're denied access. So let's go right to PHP, and we're actually going to start building this class. Now here's a typical class, and you start it with the class name. We're going to give it the name session. And we have two variables here that are important. One is called logged in. In this case, we start out as being false because you may not be logged in in the beginning, or you may. And the program will check that. And that's private, and that keeps any other class from changing that except for this class. So that's a security method. And then you have your public ID, which is public, so other classes can actually see that. And that's not so secure, but you can't change that. So what's important here is this variable that can be changed remains within this class, giving you a, another layer of security. Right after that follows the instantiation method, which is a function construct. So basically, once you instantiate this method is run first, basically you start everything up, and the first thing it does is actually starts the session. And in that, you're going to check and see if you're logged in or not. So following the constructor method, we have four methods following that. We have an isLoggedIn method. We have a login method, which we'll use to log our user in. We have a logout method, which we'll use to log out our user and a check login to see if our user is logged in or not. So that's pretty much all there is to the application. So let's go ahead and run a session. So to create a session, you just take the session name and create a handler. In this case, I'll call it session. Then I want to go ahead and just run the login method. Now let's just take a look at that. If I hold my control key over login and click on that, it takes me right to that method in Eclipse. And basically in the login method, I'm just going to insert a username. And the first thing the method's going to do is going to check and see if I'm logged in. Okay. And if I am, it won't do anything. If not, it basically tells me, hey, you're not logged in. And then it's going to run another method, and it's going to say, if user, so you've got something in the name, then you're going to create a session, and you're going to give it that username. So basically, the data is user. That would be, in this case, it will be Mike. And uh, basically, the name of that data will be user ID. And you're going to put that in your user ID, and you're going to set your login to true. So now you're actually logged into the system. It knows you're logged in. And we'll echo that out to the screen. So let's go and run that method. And when you do, what it's going to tell us is that we're not logged in. And then it's going to actually log us in or set the session. And then it's going to actually um, print my name to the screen. So let's go and do that. So oh, there you go. Not logged in. And it set the session. There you go. Let's go to the next part. So what I want to do now is actually log us out. So log out is very easy. In a sense, we're going to kill the session by using the unset method. So we're going to unset our session, remove, remove it, and then we'll unset our user ID. And then you want to tell logged in to equal to false. So in that particular case, uh, your, your user will no longer have access to particular pages in your application. And I'll print out a little message saying, hey, you've been logged out. Too bad. So let's come along here and uh, go sessions and run the logout method just by declaring it with the dash greater than sign. So let's run this method. So in the first case, I wasn't logged in. Then it logged me in and returned the value Mike. And then it logged me out. And that's how it works. Pretty cool, huh? Very, very easy class. This is not the longest video I've ever done. And uh, pretty much uh, the only other thing that we haven't looked at right now is pretty much check login. And in this particular case, if you're set, then it goes along here and make sure that login is set to true. And if not, we'll unset it and set it to false. So that's pretty much all there is to the session class. Once again, a very simple class. Uh, let me just run one more session. I'm going to log out and log back in. Let's see what that does for us. So first, I'm going to log in. In this particular case, I've already logged out. So my session shouldn't be set. So for that, log in. It says it should say, I'm not set. Return my name. I'm going to log out. Hey, it says you've been logged out. Then once again, it should tell me I'm not set, but yet return my name because it sets the session again. So we're going to go through the full cycle. Let's run it real quick. So I wasn't logged in, so it logged me in and returned Mike, and then it logged me out, and I wasn't logged in, and it logged me in and gave me the name Mike. Now when I say log in in this particular case, what I mean is setting the session, unsetting the session. So if that session's set, then I have that variable logged in set, which enables me to surf through my PHP application. So we're on our way to building a password system. We'll be doing that in the next few videos. But before we do that, we're going to hit relational databases once again. Uh, let's review what we did real quick. Just really, really easy. We set this scope of these variables to make sure that we only had access to the logged in value in the session class, which gave us a little layer of security. We did a check uh, to see if we were logged in or not. We created several methods. Uh, basically, important was the login method 
and the logout method and we executed those using the uh, basically typical declared the class and ran the methods. Hey, it runs really smooth. We're going to be using this class as we move on in building more advanced applications, but just want to show you how to build a session class. So uh, we'll be moving on to uh, relational databases real quick, and then we'll be moving back to creating a password system. So thanks for listening. I'll see you next time. This was Mike Lively.